To use the built-in polling feature in Google Meet, the first thing you'll want to do is ensure that you're the moderator of the Meet. If you scroll to the bottom of your screen and you see this blue badge in the bottom left corner, that means you are the moderator. This is important because only moderators are able to create and launch polls uh, in a Google Meet. The only way to guarantee that you're the moderator for a Meet is to create your Meet links in Calendar and post them in Classroom. If you're using a Classroom-generated Meet link, moderator status can be conferred to a student, so you'll want to be sure that you've locked that down and created those links in Calendar. So to create a poll, you're going to come and click on this Activities button, then click on Polls, and you'll notice I have a poll here that I created earlier and saved. Because I didn't launch that poll yet, it's still here waiting for me. I'm going to go ahead and create a new poll, just so you can see what that process looks like. Put a few answers in it, go ahead and save it. And you'll notice that once I've saved a poll, I have a few options. I can launch the poll so students can see it. I can edit or delete it. And then I have the ability to turn on or off show everyone the results. So if I have that turned on, then students can see everyone else's responses, not with names, just the responses. If it's turned off, the student will only be able to see their own response. So because this does deals with homework, I'm gonna leave it off. And for this question, which is just silly, I'm gonna turn it on. And then I'm gonna go ahead and launch both of these polls. And let's take a look at what the student view looks like. So when a poll's been launched, there'll be an announcement. You'll notice the activities button has a green dot on it, as does the polls to let them know what's been launched. And I'm gonna go ahead and just vote in both of these polls. And you'll notice here, I can only see my own response, and here I can see the, uh, the class responses. So let's just collect a few additional student responses. And one more. And let's come on back here to the teacher view. And you'll see that I can see all of my student responses for both questions. But of course, the student can only see the class responses for the question that was toggled on and their own response for the question where class responses was toggled off. At this point, I have basically two options. I can end the poll or delete the poll. If I end the poll, it takes away the ability to edit my, my choice or to vote, but I can still see as a student my own response or the class responses. If I delete the poll, it's no longer visible in the student view. Once every single person has left the meet, any launched polls will be automatically deleted. However, polls that you've created and saved but not yet launched will be available for you the next time you join the meet.